There we go. Okay. Um, we're going to Walmart. Can we? No. Why not? I have to go get my car washed. You wash this car every like week. So? <laughs> you see how dirty it is from that storm last night? All right. So I'm picking up Gavin, and we're gonna go to the car wash real quick, and then we'll continue on with the main point of the video. Yeah. Big filler. Big filler. Seems like I'm always starting these videos with getting a car wash. Hi. Hi. Can I get a Which wash would you like today? The ba basic. The basic wash? Yep. Sure. Do you want to do a tire shine with the hand dryer? Uh, no, thank you. Or a super inside? Oh, perfect. So just eight dollars. If you'll read this black sign here for me, please. Yep. Jonas, why aren't you reading? I've already read it like fourteen thousand times. Alright, two dollars in receipt for you. Thank you. Come see us again. Just in my uh cruise here it's got about a 122 millimeter turbo on it making about 650 to the wheels what kind of turbo is it Garrett? it's a Garrett EK 46 122 millimeter I don't run it in the cooler though because I only run like about like 60 pounds of boost so you don't need an air cooler for that six-speed manual stock stock uh, clutch and everything stock pressure plate it doesn't slip at all or anything like that I mean, we're only running 650. Yeah, it's pretty fast. That's 120 miles per hour. Stock brakes, so you can't go too fast. Before we get into the video, I need to do another quick montage, so let's do that right now. Trigger the car montage. I've been getting a lot of comments on my five things I hate about my Chevy Cruze about how I should have got a different car. A lot of people have been like suggesting that I sell this car and get a different car, such as a Mustang or something like that along those lines. One person even commented you should get a BMW M3. Um, it's about the same price as this car, but BMWs are like pieces of shit, so pass on that. In that video that I made about the five things that I hate about my Chevy Cruze, I think it kind of came off as I hated the car, like just in general. But in reality, I actually love this car and it's been a really nice first car for me. So I just want to go over five things that I love about my Chevy Cruze to kind of counterbalance the five things that I hate about my Chevy Cruze video. Before we get started, what are you doing? Before I get started, I just want to say I'm sorry for the wind noise. It's pretty windy today, and this is like the best place we could find with like minimal wind, but also good lighting from the sun outside. Let's get into the five things that I love about my Chevy Cruze. So the first thing that I love about my Chevy Cruze is that it is a manual transmission. If you guys did not know, manual transmission is definitely the way to go if you're really looking to get in touch with driving your car. Whenever I'm in an automatic car, I don't like how easily it downshifts when I press the gas pedal. So when I'm driving my manual car, I really like how I can control the power based on like what gear I'm in and everything. And I can also downshift whenever I want more power. The second thing that I love about my Chevy Cruze is the exhaust sound. After I recorded that video of the five things I hate about my Chevy Cruze, I actually ordered an exhaust system and installed it. So now my exhaust sounds really good. I'll throw in a clip of my exhaust right now in case you haven't heard it yet.
So there you go, that's how my exhaust sounds. I think it sounds really good for just an exhaust system. I might do high flow cats in the future, but other than that, I can't really get much else out of my exhaust unless I just straight pipe it. The next thing that I love about my Chevy Cruze is the handling. I recently bought strut bars for my Chevy Cruze and it really stiffened up the chassis and made it a lot better around corners. The only thing holding me back now is tires and I've been looking into getting some of those soon along with the wheels that I'm ordering. The wheel that I ordered should be here tomorrow so be on the lookout for a video of that, test fitting it on my car and seeing how it looks. But yeah, I really like how this car handles and once I get tires it's going to be even better. The fourth thing that I love about my Chevy Cruze is the steering feel. The steering in this car is perfect. It's not too firm, but it's also not too loose. I really like the way it feels when I'm going around corners. It gets a little stiffer the faster you're going. Even though this is a family commuter car, the steering is definitely perfect. The fifth and final thing that I love about my Chevy Cruze is how it looks. The styling of this car is really nice. I think GM did a great job styling this car. Especially considering this is just like a family sedan slash commuter car. Even though this car is made in America, it looks like it's straight out of Japan. It has that kind of styling that's like sporty, but it's also not supposed to be like a sports car, if that makes any sense. You'll be able to see from the clips that I recorded and put into this video earlier that this car looks really nice, but if you want to see it in more detail, you can also check out some of my other videos or search it up on the internet and you can have your own opinion about how it looks. I personally think it looks really nice and I like the styling a lot. Are you professional? Yes. Are you guys recording a YouTube video? Yeah. yeah. What's your name? Jonas Godwin. Huh? Jonas Godwin. I know you! Yeah. Wait, what's, what's the name again? Jonas Godwin. J-O-N-A-S. J. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh. N. N. A. A. S. S. G-O-D. G-O-D. W-I-N. W-I-N. Are you sponsored by stuff? No. Oh, okay. So, are you famous? <laughs> I don't know. Am I famous? Yeah, basically. Not really. Oh. I'll put you guys in this in this video, okay? Thank you. That's All right. lit, bro. You guys hey, have let, to, let me get a three-pointer. You, oh. you have to subscribe, though. All, hey, all of you guys. Hey, do you think I'll make this? Yeah. Right. That's all. Oh, it's close. <laughs> Taking L's over here.